Quickly before this video begins, I'd like to mention to join my Discord server and follow my Twitch. Links are in the description. Consistency. The achievement of a level of performance that does not vary greatly in quality over time. This is what this video is about today. So how does it apply to OS? The term consistency is coined often when referring to a player that represents such a high level of gameplay and skill. Not only are they great, but on nearly every map they play, they can set an amazing score. So how do people like us become players like them? In order to become more consistent, there are a number of factors we need to consider, and it will vary with every player. No one tip or piece of advice can help every single individual. Instead, take the advice and modify it to your own needs. First and most importantly, you need to be able to see the game. Wear your glasses if necessary, turn down the background dim, disable storyboards, etc. If you can't see the game or the circles, then I cannot help you. Now we delve into things that you can change within your configuration or game client. Let's create a list of things that could impact your consistency, sorted by importance. Your stamina, aim, depending on whether it's a mouse or tablet, the tempo of the maps you're playing, the actual maps you're playing, your skin, and the in-game interface. The amount of stamina you have is the most important. If you're accustomed to playing 90 second maps, playing 3 or 4 minute maps will be very challenging and you'll exhaust your stamina early. Streaming speed is included here, but described more later in the video. Unfortunately, the only thing you can do here is to just play more. You can't just pray and magically one day you'll wake up and have the ability to play marathons. Practice makes perfect, or at least increases your skill. Another point, sort of unrelated, but equally as important, is to not retry spam. This one should be obvious. It quickly degrades your consistency, and 90% of the time you'll mind block on the map. Give yourself 2 or 3 retries, and then move on to something else, no matter how tempting it is to keep going. I'm guilty of not doing this myself, so don't beat yourself up over it. Your aim can be nearly as important if you don't have a stable grip. For mouse users, a cramped slash claustrophobic space will never benefit you. It only confines where your aim can be, and any amount of mouse drift is detrimental. Instead, try and maximize the amount of space you have to move your arm and mouse around. This gives you the highest possibility of maintaining a stable grip throughout a long map. I can't speak for tablet users though. I would imagine that you need to place your arm and hand in a position where it's comfortable. Maybe like holding a regular pen? I really don't know, just do what feels right to you. The tempo of the maps you play can determine your consistency because it dictates how fast your fingers are going. Usually, most players have a BPM range where they can play confidently, falling around 180 to 210 BPM. If you want to increase, or decrease, your overall speed, play maps approximately 15 BPM faster or slower than you're comfortable with. I'll use myself as an example here. When I'm fully warmed up, I can play 200 BPM steadily. Since I do have the motivation to become a faster player, I would play burst intensive maps around 215 to 220 BPM. These maps should still be playable for me and you, however, your stamina will obviously drain faster. The more you play these faster maps, the more your speed will gradually rise. Very simple, but if you're impatient, then you'll never make any progress. The maps you play don't make too much of a difference as long as you're not sticking to one style. Comfortable maps, or ones that aren't very rhythmically or structurally complex, are easy to play in combo. However, if you continue playing these maps, it'll become increasingly more difficult to play other maps with distinguishable styles. An easy way to solve this problem is by clicking on the rank section and downloading the most recent ranked maps. Typically, there are many different genres and types of songs located there that are available for download right at your fingertips. Each genre is mapped differently, or at least should be, depending on the sounds and samples used by the artist. You might even find a new favorite map doing this. The skin you're using is not a vital factor here. Some people can adapt well to changing through multiple skins, while others need acclimation time if they make a large change. However, the one thing I can say here is that you shouldn't use a distracting skin. Whether it be through hit object lighting, not dimming the background as I referenced in the beginning of this video, combo bursts, those obnoxious 300s, hentai, large numbers, or whatever, minimizing the amount of distractions will guarantee better gameplay. Another part of the minimalistic theme is the in-game interface. If you get nervous by looking at your combo or accuracy, 
Simply press shift and tab simultaneously. This will remove them from the screen and will leave the leaderboard, UR bar, and the input overlay. Press solely tab to remove the leaderboard and the other two cannot be hidden. These are all preference based, it's your decision to keep them or remove them. I'll reiterate the point at the beginning of this video. Consistency will take time to develop. You need to be patient with yourself. Every once in a while, you'll set a play or display of skill that'll show you're improving. Just don't expect instant results. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys next video.